During this video, we will check the main results and outputs available under Plex's LE Groundwater module. For this first example, we have this 2D tailings dam model analyzed under a steady state mode. Starting the results in terms of the outputs, there is a key aspect on the input portion of the model. What do I mean by that? Well, under the input portion, we already have here the output menu available for us. What does it mean? So if we would like to map a certain parameter during the analysis uh, or graph the, the behavior of uh, points, uh, sessions and so on, or even draw a flux section as we can see here located in the core of the dam, we will do this by in the input portion when we get to the results part, we can actually collect the information that we, we were looking for. So if we click here under the graph manager, you'll notice that we have several options to define the properties we would like to map on the results. So we can define a range. So by clicking here on add a new range graph, we can then set the title and also pick the variable of the analysis. In this case, as we are handling a groundwater analysis, you must expect that you have available for you info in terms of flux, gradient, gravity water content, head, pressure head, porosity, pore pressure, and so on. So you pick the variable that you like to map, and under the range, you can define here the entry and exit of the range coordinates. Besides that, we have here the output options. We can see the output in terms of uh, Plexi's LE interface or also write a text file that can be exported later. This option in terms of graphing is available for, for point, piezometers, mapping, area and volume, flux sections, boundary, climate, tunnels, and so on. So we can even pick the water balance here and click on the clock and define how I'd like to check the, the water balance in terms of balance cumulative or balance rate. If we check here the plot manager, these are the variables that will be included in the groundwater result data file available under the directory of the model. We can then include or exclude certain variables to be mapped on this output format. When we decided to check the results, we can click here on the open output or even click on solve and also pick the open output option. The first result that we see on the scene is related to the pore pressures uh, along with the mesh and in this case the flux section that we included in the mapping. Well, to start evaluating the results, we can enable or disable certain visualizations. What do I mean by that? So let's say I don't want to see the, the mesh elements in the model. I just want to see the contours. I can come here under mesh, click on the mesh dialog, and by selecting all the shapes of all the regions related to, to the inclusion of the mesh, we can just disable this option click OK and we will not see the mesh anymore. Well, under the plot, I think this is the, the main scene here related to, to the results, is that we can create different contours settings for the model. So under contours, by picking the contour settings, we can define the variable that we would like to see. In this case, we are seeing the pore pressure, but we can also pick the pressure head, for instance. Here we see the minimum and maximum value related to this variable. Also, we have the option of, of changing how I'd like to see the contour plot in terms of colors, gradients, and so on. We can also pick the regions that we would like to see this variable in a specific, not only the entire model. We can also show the region's contours and also their contour labels along with each change related to the head pressure. 
The display can also be set here in terms of minimum and maximum values that will influence in the changes of colors here or gradients related to this variable and also on the legend plotted here on the output. If we come here under plot again, we can also include the vectors in the model. So the vectors will plot uh, the direction and magnitude of two vector component variables. In this case, we can see the components on the horizontal and vertical. And I'm picking here the flux to plot the, se the, the section, the vectors. I can also pick the average linear velocity or the advance. And in that sense, I need to adjust manually what would be the horizontal and vertical components of the variable. If we pick the flux and click here on show vector levels, we can then start seeing the direction here of the flow. The program is formulated in a general way such that it can plot any two or three variables vector. So in this case, we can also change the intervals or fix the length arrows, show the results, legend as well, enabling legends or not. And on the display, we can even change here the size of the vectors so we can clearly see the direction uh, and magnitude of the components. Another option that we have is called value blinking. So the, with the use of value blinking, we can basically define certain criteria in terms of constraints to enable or disable uh, the visualization of uh, certain range of uh, a specified parameter. What do I mean by that? So if I decided to proceed with the show value blinking, and in that sense, I can pick a constraint, for example, I can set the variable, and in this case, I will click on pressure head, and I want to say that blank when the variable pressure has had is less than or equal to 40 meters, for example. If I click on that, we'll just see the portion of the model related to the pressure head under this specific range. I can return the visualization by coming back to the value blinking and disable the show value blinking. In this case, we return to the previous view. We can also pick here the option in terms of show the water table. So we can pick on the line to display the line and the contour value related to zero KPA can be adjusted. I will return here to the contours, contour settings, and come back here to the pore pressure. Again, as we can see, it's more related to the visualization of the water table. We can also handle the use of stream traces under Plex's LE output. What is that? So if you click here under plot, stream traces, basically with the use of this functionality, we can project the movement of a single particle through the model based on the steady state flows. So if I click here on this under stream traces dialog, we can define here the size of the line and so on. And we can pick the points in the model based on individual or boundaries referring to different regions of the model. So, for example, if I come here under individuals and start drawing, let's say that I want to see the steam traces related to this point and this one, we can already see the, the output, right? Okay, we can see the movement of the particle from this point to that one in terms of the entire analysis. Under graphs, we can visualize the options that we've selected in the input related to the graph manager. So, for example, in this case, the only variable that we define in the input is related to flux sections. So, I'll we'll have available here the flux section for me. If I double click, I can evaluate the result of the flux normal flow in this specific flux section. I can even click here on the clipboard. Other options can also generate graphs depending on the variables that we selected under the different options of the menu. If a user is handling a calibration with piezometers, they can also graph the observed and measured results of the, under the calibration menu. The node history can be evaluated and the euros of the analysis as well. So if we return here to mesh, click on show mesh, we can 
Come here under the point selection and even select a point of the model to evaluate the results. So if I want to see the legend referring to the behavior of this node, I can come here under View Legends and click on Enable Legends. Then I can move the legends and make the necessary changes here for a plot, for example. In this model, I can close the Materials dialog, come here, select the node, and see the results of this specific node along with the pore water pressure counter. The model information can also be evaluated in case that we included any description. Another option that we have in the software under File is printing the results, generating PDFs, or even recording a video of the model, which is useful especially for generating reports. Music